We are following up on breaking news. We brought you Tuesday evening a commercial structure fire and brush fire on County Road 33 in St. Clair County. Several departments nearby coming out to provide mutual aid. Then that fire rekindled. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is working for you tonight to tell us more about the response to this automotive shop. The explosive sounds, the sight of roaring flames, the smell of smoke, a fire crews believed was out rekindled. We called 911 and they quickly returned to the scene on County Road 33. This is a, a, a pretty typical scene and that you have a rekindle. You know, you're dealing with a lot of a uh, lot of petroleum, uh, just a lot of open space, uh, places for the fire to hide. Rainbow City's mayor, Joe Taylor, a former firefighter himself, came by. His city's department was there to help, offering experience, manpower and resources. These are our brothers. These are our neighbors, our friends. Just we're a part of a community. Taylor also knows the Reeves family personally. The fire destroying two of their buildings, an automotive shop filled with antique cars and parts. It was the love of this man's life. I mean, he loved old cars. He, uh, he's been in the automotive business his whole life. In this close-knit community, they are served by Northeast Volunteer Fire Department. We have about a 1,000 volunteer fire departments in the state of Alabama, and they just do a fantastic job serving their communities. They're all volunteers. Uh, they don't get paid a dime for this. We've learned after responding to the rekindling of the building, crews were called back out a third time for that brush fire. Matt Russell, executive director with the Alabama Fire College, offers perspective. When to leave a scene is based on their judgment. Russell explains several factors can play a role. People's experience, uh, you know, the building construction, their staffing, the funding that they have, the type of apparatus, uh, the amount of personnel that they have on the scene, the weather plays a role, whether it's really hot or really cold outside. And so all those things play a role in uh, firefighters' ability to adequately extinguish fires. You can see just a day later that a small portion of brush continues to smoke. You can also see the damage that remains as work begins to clean up. In St. Clair County, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News. The cause of the fire has not yet been released.